What's up guys? So last night I had some really really bad issues with uh, some dust on my uh, on my images as you can see here. So I made a decision to clean my telescope mirrors which actually uh, was completely useless because uh, this dust was actually from the uh, sensor window not from the mirrors. So it's completely useless. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So just so you know do it only if you really have to. First of all let me tell you that I was scared. I had no idea how to do this and spent all morning watching YouTube videos and reading forums. Now that it's done, I can assure you that it's actually pretty easy. There are a few tricky parts to be careful about which were not in the videos, so I had to dismantle everything three times. I'm here to make sure you don't make the same mistakes. Let's go. Everything you need is on this table. Your telescope, of course some dish soap, a bunch of cotton balls, a towel that does not release any lint, a regular screwdriver, and distilled water. Let's take the primary mirror off first. That can easily be done by taking off the screws all around the tube near the primary. Then carefully remove the entire holding cell. As you can see, ours is pretty dusty, but to be honest, this is completely fine and we could have probably waited another year or two before cleaning it. Next, remove the holding clamps. Be careful not to smash your screwdriver into the mirror, or you will cry. You don't have to, but on the videos I watched, they made a mark with a sharpie on both the mirror and the cell, so that you can reassemble it exactly how it was before. So why not? Then, just remove the mirror itself. It feels very strange to see our telescope missing its primary mirror. It's also pretty scary. Time to take off the secondary mirror now. I remember doing this about two years ago to replace a broken screw, but I forgot how I did it. I got lazy and didn't want to look it up, so I guessed I had to take off the middle screw out first. Huge mistake. Don't do this or you will torn your spider veins. I ended up watching a video anyway and yes, you need to carefully loosen the collimation screws first. Then, while holding the mirror with one hand, take off the middle screw. You should be able to retrieve the mirror once it's unscrewed. Hi. The secondary mirror also does not look that bad, besides one big dust particle that looks like an insect poop near the edge. Hi. The tube is now all empty. The telescope is no more. Time for a bath. First, have enough water in your sink so that the mirror can fully be submerged. Don't waste the distilled water yet, that's for later. Drop a tiny bit of dish soap. We only want enough for the water to be slightly soapy. Just slightly. We don't want any bubbles. Grab your primary mirror and make sure not to put your greasy fingers all over it. Slowly and carefully move it around in the water. This will remove most of the loose particles. Do the same for the secondary mirror. Then place them vertically on a drying rack or anywhere safe. Drain the water out since we don't want to keep any of that dust for the next step. Now, fill the sink with water again and add the same amount of dish soap as earlier. Also, grab your cotton balls. Submerge your primary mirror underwater, just like before, but now we will actively take off the remaining dust with the cotton. Starting from the center of the mirror and moving outwards, carefully slide the cotton ball without using force. Do the same until you have cleaned the entire mirror. This will take a while and many cotton balls. 
as you never want to use the same side of a ball more than once or you will risk scratching the mirror with the dust you just collected. I would do one wipe, turn it over, do another wipe, turn it over maybe once more and do a third wipe before getting a new ball. Do the same for the secondary mirror, which should be much faster. Drain all that dirty water and grab your distilled water, which will make sure there is no watermark left on your mirrors when they dry. Pour it on both mirrors. Don't be afraid to waste, it's important. The next part is pretty scary. If you feel confident enough, use your lint-free towel to carefully absorb the remaining large water drops. I realized that my towel was completely useless and grabbed another one. I was pretty stressed out at that moment. Some people use hair dryers. I'm not sure that's a better option. My secondary mirror still looked dusty. So I did the whole process again and it came out much better after the second attempt. The primary mirror was also looking much better. Yes, there are still some dust spots, but that's completely fine. Now comes the most annoying part. Reassembling the telescope. We pretty much have to do everything backwards, but there are a couple of traps which I fell into because I didn't know. For the secondary mirror, you have to make sure you tighten up the collimation screws evenly. If you don't, the mirror will be either too high or too low compared to before, and you will have some terrible vignetting on one side of your images. For the primary mirror, you need to make sure you don't tighten up the holding clamps too hard, or you will have what we call pinched optics. I found out the hard way and I thank everyone on Instagram who told me why my stars were now triangular. I had to remove the primary mirror again and ensure the holding clamps weren't too tight. From what I learned, you should be able to fit a business card between the mirror and the clamp. So we finally found a use to our Galactic Hunter business cards since they're always sitting in our wallet for no reason. Also, if your clamps are too loose, your telescope will not be able to hold collimation and will lose collimation every time you screw your telescope. Yes, we also found this out the hard way. Anyway, once you're done, simply reattach the cell to the back of your telescope and put the screws back all around. And we're done. And we're done. Hopefully now the dust spot will be gone from our pictures. Beautiful. Now that you're done, you can collimate your telescope again and try it out. Make sure you do not have any weird vignetting, triangular stars, or collimation issues. 